October 9th, 2011, 1 a.m. on Wildwood Court. A scuffle inside of this home leads down the driveway, where James Miller eventually dies. The killer vanishes before police arrive. Over the years, many of the folks living nearby have moved. I remember hearing sirens. But some, like Mary Hunsberger, remain. At the time, we, knew no, we didn't know what was going on, but we knew it was close. She lives a block over from the crime scene, just down Mervyn Street. But what she remembers is reports from other neighbors. Some of the neighbors remember hearing noises at their house during the evening, and we think it probably was that person jiggling a door trying to get in somewhere, trying to find an open door. There were several accounts of that. One of them, two blocks from Wildwood Court, where one neighbor tells me it was more than a jiggle on the door. She did not wish to go on camera, but says a young man came up to a window, knocked, and appeared to gesture like he wanted to be let in. There was a young woman inside of the house, a college exchange student who he was attempting to get the attention of. She says moments later, the handle of the front door began to jiggle before whoever it was took off. That was about an hour before an intruder murdered Jim Miller. She regrets not calling the police that night, but told detectives the next day what had happened. And she says a similar incident happened right next door. In the ensuing days, investigators with Goshen Police combed the immediate area, looking for signs of where the killer may have gone, attempting to find a trail of blood from wounds or the sole of a shoe. By morning, he was long gone. However, every direction, a potential hiding place or escape route, immediately surrounding the home, residential. To the west, Goshen College, a retirement community to the east, more homes to the north. Could have had somebody waiting in a car on 15th Street. Or he could live here. Or he could live here, yeah. And nearly seven years after the unthinkable, finding out who did it and where he went seems to many less likely. Do you think it'll ever get solved? Well, the more time that passes gives one less hope.